Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey version 5 tutorial. Going to show you how to combine images in version 5. And not only that, I'm going to show you a few other tricks like how to change the stylization and the aspect ratio from the default ratios to new ratios all in version 5. Here we go. So the first step here is you quick quick look here. You'll see I've got a puppy dog here. This is like a Pixar style doggy. I got a Pixar style piggy and then I've got my bulldog Kingston, who I love to pieces. And I wanted to combine all of that and create sort of like a composite or a combination. And here it came up with some pretty good ones. In particular, I really like this second one here. It's pretty darn good. So I would just click on U2. And there we go. Bono and Edge and all those guys. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there we go. So we would have this cool image. So how did I do it? Let me show you that first step. The first thing you go to your Finder or your Windows Explorer and grab the images. So the first thing I've got here, I've got three images and I've isolated them. So here we go, they're in Finder. Go back to Discord or go back to bot to your mid journey and type in forward slash blend and then hit enter. When you do that, you see two options pop up, image one and image two. Mid journey version five and even four, I believe, allows you to combine up to five different images. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first step is we're gonna fill up the first two spaces. I'm gonna go back to Finder and for the first image, I'm gonna grab my dog Kingston and I'm gonna hover and drop him into the image one spot. And there we go. Second one, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this little puppy dog and I'm gonna drop him into image two. Now the next step is kind of a little bit counterintuitive because you might not know to look, click there, pardon me, but you can actually click on this plus four here. So on the plus four more, left click on it. And then when you do that, you get the option to add a third, fourth, and fifth image and change the dimensions. So I'm gonna add a third image. And now I'm gonna add in that little piggy from Pixar here. I'm gonna drag and drop that in and presto. Now we're gonna be combining these three images. If I wanted a fourth and fifth, I would just click on this again and do that. That said, I want to change the dimensions and then I'm going to show you how to change them again when we do the variations or the remix. So here we go, plus three more. I clicked on this here and then now you'll see dimensions. When you click on that, you get three options out of the box, portrait, square, and landscape. I want to do a landscape just for the heck of it. So I'm going to left click on landscape and presto. Now you'll see that landscape has been added into the prompt bar. I'm going to hit enter and I'll hit it again because I made a mistake and there we go. I'll hit enter and now it's gonna process this. Do keep a quick look here that it says dash dash AR space three two. That means aspect ratio three to two. I'm gonna show you how to change that to 16 nine or any other uh, variation. And I'm also gonna show you how to do the uh, stylization from 250 to 750 or something in between when it's done. So I'm gonna let this process and then I'm gonna show you the final step. All right, welcome back. It's done a really good job and I really like a lot of these different looks here. If I click on it here, you'll see here we've got some pretty cool looking characters, although this guy's ears look a little weird and this one looks a little bit like a bat, but whatever. Uh, here, take a look at this though. If I go back to the original candidate images, look at my dog Kingston. Look at the brindle around his eyes on both sides and the white stripe right through his middle there though. When we go to the blended image, Look at that, it's got the white right down the middle and then it's got the brindle and the brownish right around the eyes. How cool is that? This is how good Mid Journey's gotten. Anyways, the final step here is when you've got images that you like, you can now of course go through the standard process of up sampling or upscaling them and making variations. So I'm gonna say I like, very. let's go with one, why not? I'm gonna do a variation of one, but watch this. Now when you get the prompt up here in the remix, instead of going three to, thir three to two as the aspect ratio, I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna go type in 16 colon nine. So I'm overriding the landscape to make it a custom aspect ratio that I want. Also, if I want the stylization to change from 250 to say I want it to be more stylized, so I wanna give the program a little more latitude to create some unique images and add a little style to it, I just went in and changed the 250 to, to 750. Then I'm gonna hit submit. And when this is done, I'm gonna come back and show you the results and we'll wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So here are the new images. I'll click on them and they're really, really good. You'll see here that there's a little more style applied to them. See around the face here, around the nose, there's a little bit of a pink. And this one here has the beginnings of some whiskers and this one has some freckles. So the stylization worked. And this one here has some little specks and some dots. So that's how you change the stylization. That's how you change the aspect ratio. And that's it guys, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, Mid Journey version five is amazing.